would it be cool next year when I'm standing here on all of the things that I just put on the board? Yeah, <laughs> sure is. Welcome to the most important day of the year, mood board day. You guys have been watching me make mood board videos for years. And every year, you also watch me cross things off them. I am a master dream chaser and catcher. I may be a professional shopper, but most of all in my heart, I'm a teacher. So are you ready? My annual make all your dreams come true vision board day. Let's make some magic. Okay, first of all, I'm sweating balls. I need to take this off. <laughs> Ooh, much better. You guys know the mood board story. I do these videos every single year. I've been making these since 2016. And let me tell you, my life has severely changed since then. Um, I always joke that I won the lottery, but quite literally, um, you know, I think the mood boards had a lot to do with it. I'm proof that they work. Look out the window right now. This is where we're making the mood board this year, by the way. From my beautiful new penthouse home. All right, so we'll start with the basics. What's a mood board? Basically, it's just physical manifestation of the law of attraction. And the law of attraction is the magnetic power of the universe. Put what you want out into the universe and it will come back to you. Good thoughts attract good things. Think about your future house until you're living in it. Think about all sorts of traveling and where you wanna go till you're there. Wanna go to Birkin? Say specifically what you want till you can hold it in your hand. The whole idea is kind of the universe is conspiring to help you in whatever it is you want. So, ever heard of asking you shall receive? This is really based on the idea of manifesting, which is basically as this says, if you believe in it enough, you can have it. Which basically just means you can have anything you want. Pretty cool, huh? Who doesn't want that? Which by the way, if you have a Pinterest account, guess what? You're already vision boarding. I literally am obsessed with my Pinterest, but basically this is the whole idea of a vision board. You're kind of collecting things that inspire you, that you like, that you kind of see for your life and collecting them into one spot. Pinterest is like the cool young kid of vision boarding and uh, actual physical mood boards are like the cool rich aunt. Bad metaphor, but. Okay, so actually making a mood board is super easy. You only need literally three things, a poster board, scissors. Oh, four things, I can't count. Double-sided tape and everything you want on the board. We'll get more into that in a second, but the first thing I always start with is a central quote. You guys remember my mood boards from the past? I still have all of them. My original most famous one, what if it doesn't come true? Uh, but what if it does? Then the next year I did live the life you imagined. 2018 was go get what you dream of. 2019 was become the you of your dreams. 2020 to the fullest. Got a la folie from uh, 2021. Yep, that's the mood board my ankle tattoo came from. <laughs> then of course we have 2022's, which was Dreamland. And this year, not gonna lie, I actually thought long and hard about what I wanted to make the central quote and like literally couldn't decide, but I think I got it. Je ne rêve. I have dreamed it. I've been really into the fairy tale vibe lately, like I'm rebranding my whole life, fairy tale era. So um, I originally was gonna have the central quote be Once Upon a Dream. But my favorite version of that song is actually the French version and the title of it in French literally translates to I have dreamed it. Which really actually encapsulates what I want the vibe of this year to be more so, which is, I mean, I am actually living in my wildest fantasies right now. And I have literally woken up in my dreamland. Everything I see now when I look around my house or when I look at my life is it's literally stuff that I actually dreamed of once upon a time. So, um, you know, I've dreamed it. Oh, like, you know, I look out this window and it's just like, man, I dreamed of that. So that's the vibe But what goes around that. These are a bunch of photos that I literally printed at CVS. Shout out to CVS, I don't own a photo printer. Okay, so these are just a bunch of photos that I've collected over the years that inspire me and really encapsulate everything I want out of the year. It's 2023 on film. Okay, so the first section will be tangible goals. Things you can buy, do, get, see. Goals you could really hold in the palm of your hand. I want a new car for Christmas next year. I need to build my fantasy actual closet because last year I only built a shoe closet. Oh, how I missed seeing the world. The shopping world tour is officially back on. I wanna buy this chandelier for my living room. Photoshopped it, what do you think? I know, I know my Photoshop sucks, but it gets the job done. Money, money, honey. <laughs> Financial freedom is a great goal. Nothing wrong with that, put it on there. 
More specifically than even just money though, Photoshop exactly how much you want. The true power of visualization, ooh, you know, the more real the better. Like this is the little Shopify icon, that's what I use to run 333. You guys know I sell jewelry, it was my little passion project. Two years ago I literally had this necklace made for myself. I don't know if you guys can see here, but it says, ah, oh, but what if it does? Sold a few of them literally out of my living room just for fun. And it has honestly just turned into a very booming business. And this year I really want to scale it, make it huge, put it in stores. So, you know, not just you guys are going to know about it, but everyone. Remember that sentence, okay? I made it the 333 numbers. Daily sales goals. Literally going to put this on a sign in Times Square. I don't care. Let's go. Back to my OG mood board for a second, but uh, this is something fun that I've always done. Once you accomplish something, put it on there, you know, cross it off or include your little ticket. When you hit your bank account goal. God, this is so crusty, but uh, you know, <laughs> keep the receipt in the stub and put it on there. Just a fun thing to do when you like look back at them. It's like a little paper trail of your dreams. Oh, we're gonna put all the Photoshop things on there. Also on the jewelry trail. I need to design and make more jewelry. So this is a big full-size picture we're putting on there. Yes, this one is kind of a double entendre. Do you guys recognize this picture? Yep, that's the Princess Diaries closet. Which again, I wanna build myself my dream closet this year. So there we go. Putting both of those babies on there. Now moving on to the intangible goals. The kind of, you know, flu flu fru fru. Intangible things would be things like this. I want to take a lot of chances this year and really gamble on myself. One thing about me, I will bet on myself. And I win. I'm going to be more organized. Stay tuned to see if that actually happens. Probably not, but I'm going to try. <laughs> By the way, you guys, these mood boards are not like some secret magical thing. They literally are just a way for you to kind of visualize your goals and work towards them. Keyword, work. Like Brittany says, you better work, bitch. You gotta go after your dreams and chase them. Like if there's something that you put on the board, you gotta make active decisions every single day to get there. You know, if you wanna live in the castle, you gotta build it. Truly is the luck of the hard work. But I will tell you this, there is a little bit of magic in them. There just is. Like remember this? I put this door on my mood board last year as inspo for my house. And then without even knowing it, I ended up getting flown to San Francisco for a YouTube thing. And that is the hotel they put me up in. Can you believe? Recognize this? This is actually on my mood board. Can you believe? I literally walked up and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Manifesting. That's the little mood board magic. After all, what you believe is your reality. So why not believe in magic? The wise woman once said, oh, but what if it does? I want to really lean into the star version of myself this year. Like I literally just sit in my house 99% of the time and do like literally nothing. And it's easy to forget, but you are the star of your life. And um, you know, I want to really lean into that this year. Not forget it. That's me being a star. You guys really do just write the most beautiful things sometimes. I love it. I'm going to make some waves on YouTube this year. Just watch. I want to finish decorating the sky castle. Cause Lord knows I need more decorations than just this. Like I said, business bitch, she's coming out. See you soon. I want to dress fabulously like a princess. After the quote tangible and intangible goals, we're going to do a vibes. Literally things that just give you the kind of overall feel of the year. Like this is just the Cinderella bippity boppity boo magic wand. That's a vibe. Put some little sayings you really believe in. This is actually a screenshot of a DM one of you sent me, um, part of it anyway, but it says, please don't lose your royal spark. You are never blunt. You guys are so sweet. I love that. The whole vibe of this year is like fairy tales and stuff. So, you know, I just love the concept of what's one more. It's getting dark. I've been doing this for so many hours. It's literally dark outside, but that's fine. <laughs> You want to put it somewhere that you will see it every single day. So I'm going to put mine right here, kind of by my window, because I look out this every single morning. 2023 about to be a whole fairy tale. So, as always, it's time for a little snap back on memory lane. What did I do in 2022? Be a freaking boss! Oh my god, you guys, this is so cool! <laughs> Welcome to my Forbes interview. I have been waiting my whole life to say that. This is the real floor plan right here, and this is the photo I took of it. Oh, 
gonna be so cool. Dun, da, da. This is the Sky Castle, get it? Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, this is just a little castle. Marble floors in the entry. It's happening. Dun, da, da. Ta -da! This is literally my dream. You love it. I've always wanted one of these staircases. So I am going to knock down this wall and put one in there. Dun, dun, woo! Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. This is a painting of like an old style ballroom. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, it's a fairy tale. I saw this picture and was like, mm -hmm, that's it. Ta-da, can you believe this? Oh my gosh, this is literally gonna be my own little store. And you know, this is just the beginning. I think one of the most magical things about life is that no matter how much you dream, there's always dreams still left to dream. I dreamed this. I dreamed myself, my life, the woman I'm becoming. But most of all, I dreamed you. You know, from the dawn of my life, I feel like I have dreamed it. And uh, so it shall continue to be. So many dreams. And this is just the beginning. Never give up on your dreams because it's never too late and anything you want in life can and will come true if you truly believe in it. So don't ever let life be anything less than everything you imagined it to be. And on that note, wishing you a very magical 2023. To dreams, to fairy tales, and making them real. Looking forward to sharing lots of magic with you. See you next year. Hmm. So does me being clean start now or later? Let's do later. <laughs>